Welcome to MemberStack. In this video, we're going to build a fully functional membership site with free and paid accounts in about 10 minutes. I'll walk you through step by step. So if you'd like to follow along, you're going to need a new Webflow project and ideally something you want to gate access to. Here I have a review mockup generator that I created. I want to charge people who want to access this mockup generator. So yeah, first thing we need to create our app in MemberStack. So I'm going to call this review generator, select Webflow. And because I already have a project, I'm going to just start without a template and create my application. First thing we need to do is grab this install code and add it in the custom code section in Webflow. So I'll go to my project, go to site settings, custom code, and paste it right here at the top of the header section. Save it, publish it. Once this is published, MemberStack is installed. If you're unable to add the code here, send an email to welcome at memberstack.com and we'll add the code for you. All right, once that's done, we'll go back over here and we'll test to make sure that the code is working. So yes, we're good to go there. Now we can add a signup form. What's great here is that Webflow gives us total design control. We can start from any of these projects, which I'll start from this one. And once I copy and paste it into Webflow, I'll be able to change the design. This form that I'm adding now has social login, email, and password, but we also have passwordless signup and other social auth providers if you want to use those. All right, so to add this, I'm going to select the element that I want to place this in and then Command V. And bam, now I have a fully functional signup form on my website. I'm going to publish these changes. Now let's test it to make sure everything's working properly. So we'll enter a name, email, and a password, and sign up. Okay, so I can tell you everything is working. We haven't set up any redirects yet, so MemberStack didn't actually know where to send the user. We're going to set that up in a future step. But first, back here in MemberStack, we have our first member. So let's take a moment to celebrate. This is a huge milestone. We now have functional user logins and signups on our site. And we just need to build up from this foundation. The next thing is we're gonna add a redirect. But you know, before we do that, I wanna point out, if you find you need help or you have questions, you have a lot of options. You can ask our AI help bot, which is trained on member stack, can write code and do all kinds of crazy stuff. We have our help center, we have a community, and you can message support directly. We also have a Slack group with thousands of people, plus the member stack team, everybody standing by to help you with your project. With that said, let's continue on with our tutorial. We're gonna add a redirect so that the next person who signs up is going to land on a welcome page. And when they log in, we'll take them to, let's say an upgrade page. Cool, so this is anytime somebody signs up without any paid plans, basically our free members. And then we'll go over to Webflow and create our welcome page. Okay, here we go. Welcome. And let's add some content. We'll say welcome friend. And then let's customize this. So if we know the person's first name, it will be displayed here. So I'm going to type data ms member equals first name just like that, and publish. If you're wondering, how, where did I get that attribute of data MS member first name? Let me show you. Here on the members page, if I go to custom fields, you can see I already have a custom field of data MS member first name. And that corresponds with this column right here. I can add other ones as well. So later I'll want to collect the title. So now we have a title column. And I can use the attribute data MS member equals title to display that in my UI. Okay, let's go test our site again. Let's see if our redirect is working. We'll say Duncan2. We'll use my email and pick a new password. Sign up. And there we go. As you can see, we were redirected to the welcome page and the UI is personalized to me. If we go back into MemberStack, 
we'll see that we have this new member here at the top. So now what if we want to charge access and then gate access to the mockup generator on our site? Here's how we do it. We're going to create some plans, but first, let's go find a UI. I find in general, it's better to create the UI that you want and then to find the member stack features that are going to serve it. So I've got this home page here. We'll put our pricing table there by going to components, pricing, and then pick from any of these UI. I could build my own from scratch, but it's, oh gosh, it's just so much easier to start from one of these. So same thing, click and paste. There we go. Now, uh, anybody who's going to join for free, I'm going to just send them to the sign up page. And then anybody who is going to sign up for a paid account, same thing, send them to the sign up page. We need to create our plans next, our plans in member stack. So we'll go to the plans page. And I'm going to treat my default settings as my free plan so that anybody who joins without paying gets taken to the welcome page. And if they log in, they get asked to upgrade. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but uh, you get the idea. Next, we'll create a paid plan called All Access. I think that's what, yes, All Access. Create. And then we'll create a price. In this case, we'll say um, All Access Monthly. This is going to be $4.99 per month. So, wow, I'm really proud of my review generator. Okay, cool. The next step is install and publish. I recommend pausing and watching this video. It might be different depending on what kind of plan you created, but, but watch this video because it's going to walk you through exactly how to set everything up for your particular site. For me, I know I need this one, so I'm going to get this and replace that. And then same thing here, get the ID, pop it in right there, and publish. While that's publishing, let's gate access to our mockup generator. We'll say mockup, grant access to members on a specific plan, all access, great. And then we're going to restrict access to any page that starts with mockup. I could also do equals to, uh, but we'll do starts with. So in the future, if I have additional type of mockup generators, I can use that. And if they don't have access, we'll send them to the upgrade page. Okay. You know, let's go test it. If we go to our site and we try to go to the mockup page, you can see we are immediately taken to the upgrade page instead. If I want to get access, I can go to the home page and I'm already signed in so it's going to give me this test card and in in production in once this is really live it would immediately launch the checkout i'm going to enter some fake card information a zip code and subscribe this is all in test mode so it's not actually charging me and that's why i used this test card number okay i'm in so now I'm on the welcome page. Let's go ahead and try to access the mockup page now that we're paying. And there we go. We just gated access to this page and then unlocked it through a Stripe checkout. All of that in about 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. This is just scratching the surface of what's possible with MemberStack. We have nearly a thousand components, hundreds of custom scripts, templates, and a huge community of people who are building all kinds of incredible things. We can't wait to hear what questions you have for us, and I wish you all the luck as you bring your project to life. Thanks for watching, and hope you have a great rest of your day.